Hello everyone. We are going to see how we can do ICIC settings in Fedina. So for that, first of all, we have to go to administration, settings and general settings. And we have to make sure that grading system type ICIC is selected. Once you have selected that, you will be able to set this grading system for the courses that you are going to create next. So now we have to go to manage course patch and here let's say I have created a course and I want it to follow ICSE's grading system. So in that case while creating the course I will be given an option to select the grading system type. So once I have selected that I will be able to do settings for standard 1 for ICSE. Now to do that we have to go to academics and examination. And first thing is we have to go to settings and here we have to set the grading levels. Now by default Fedina provides you a set of grading levels that you'll see under common. If your school or institution follows a different one you can edit them or you can add new grading system levels here. You can also add grading level as per your standard one. 2014 which is a batch that follows ICSE. So for this batch separately also grading levels can be added. So once this setting is done we have to go to ICSE settings next. We have to set the ICSE exam categories. So let's assume that there are two terms that are going to happen in one academic year for standard one batch that I just created. So how to create these exam categories is we have to click on new. It will ask for the name of the category which is term 1 or term 2. It will ask for some description and whether you want detailed student report or not. If you select the detailed student report to be yes it would mean that IA and EA which is internal assessment and external assessment marks would be displayed separately in the report of the student. Otherwise, only total will be shown in the final report. So, in this way, the two exam categories are to be created. After this is done, we have to set ICSC weightages. So, here we have to click on new, and for the normal subjects, I have to set the weightage. So, let's say for the normal subjects of primary. For term 1, I am assigning external assessment weightage to be 80 and internal assessment to be 20. It may vary as per the institution and report mark type would be either grade or grade and mark. It means if I have selected grade in the report of the student, only grades will be appearing, otherwise both grades and marks will be appearing. Generally for primary, we only show grades, so we can only select grade. Now I am creating this weightage 8020 for the normal subjects of all the primary classes, all the primary batches. That is why co curricular is to be selected as no. The reason is that co curricular might have a different weightage than 8020. So now I'll show you how to create the weightage for term 1 for co-curricular subjects of primary classes or batches. So you have to give an appropriate name. For which term are you creating? What is external assessment weightages? Let's assume it's 0. And internal assessment is 100 for co-curricular subject. And what is the report mark type? Let's say if this is for primary, we can we only want to show grades, so I'll select grade here. So once this is done, I can create weightages for term 2 in the same way for all the primary classes. And for upper primary or beginning fifth standard, I can create again. I have differentiated between primary and upper primary because of the reason that I might want to show report differently for upper primary. I might want to show grade and marks only and not only grade. 
So if you want that, the weightages are to be created separately for fifth standard onwards. So once this is done, we have to assign weightages. So you have to select the course that follows ICSA, it will automatically appear. And here for each subject, I need to assign what is weightage that is going to follow. So for term 1, I want it to be primary normal subject, which means 2080. And similarly for term 2. So in the same way I have to create, I have to select for each of the subjects that I have in the standard. For a co-curricular subject, which is music in my case, I have to assign primary co-curricular subject for term 1, which is 0, 100 weightage. And similarly here for term 2, 0, 100 weightage. So in this way, weightage has to be assigned for each and every subject of a course. Once this is done, we need to create internal assessment groups. So that means that I am defining what all will be a part of that 20% of internal assessment. So let's say for math subject, I want to have practicals, projects and activity based learning as three indicators. So that is I have created by clicking on this add indicator. So it is asking for the name, what is the indicator and what are the maximum marks. This indicators will in turn be used for the final formula for this IA group. It means that that 20% would be for this best of A, B and C, which is best of practicals, projects and activity based learning. This formula here can also be seen from the right hand side. Different institutions follow different formulas. So based on the formula that is applicable to your institution, you can mention the same here. And in the report, the same will be used for the 20% weightage of IA. So this we have done for term 1, in the same way we need to do for term 2. Now generally IA group will be dependent on a subject. So based on the number of subjects, you will have so many IA groups. Let's say I have only created this for one of the normal subjects which is English. In the same way I have to create for mathematics because it might have different indicators. So once I've created all the IA groups, I will go and assign the IA group to the subject for which I created it. So I will select the standard and the subject. All the IA groups will appear and for each subject I need to assign the IA group. It will later on help us assign IA weightages and it will help Fidina calculate the marks based on this. So once these are all the ICSC settings that are, are to be done, after this we have to create exams. So let's select standard 1 which follows ICSC and exams are to be created in, in the normal way we create for any other batch. So let's say the student has written these exams and now I need to enter the marks for these exams. So I've entered this mark which is the marks for external assessment and every subject will have IA score. So these are the indicators that I've set, I've assigned and they are appearing. And the marks are to be mentioned here for each indicator and the total will be again fractioned by 20. Let's assume for term 1, I've set best of the three indicators. So it will take 90 and since 20% is the weightage for English, it is going to fraction 90 by 20. So in the same way, it is going to do for all the subjects. And let's say term 2 also we have filled in. After the exam is published, I'll be able to see the reports. For ICSC, reports will be available in Report Center and ICSC Reports. We have three reports available. 
student report, stu subject wise report and consolidated report. But before viewing the reports, we need to generate the reports. So here we need to select the standard, we need to select the course, the subject, uh, sorry, the batch and we need to generate. Once this is done, it will be a scheduled job which means it is going to take about 30 seconds for the reports to appear appropriately. Let me show you the reports now, view student report, I have to select the batch and for this student, all the students will be appearing here and I can see the report will appear like this. Since I have selected detailed student report to be yes while creating the terms, so it is showing me IA and EA separately. If I mark it as no, it is only going to show me the total in each term. I can add the overall remarks for the student here and I can get the PDF for the CSV report of the same. Since I've selected marks and grades, it is showing me as marks and grades both. Music is a co-curricular subject, so it is not having any EA weightage, that is why it is blank here. So this is the student wise report. Next we have subject wise report. So you can select the standard, we can select the batch and for which subject do I want to see the report. I have other filters as well, I can use them and get the report appropriately. The third report is consolidated report. So I'm going to get this report for each and every subject, for each and every term in a horizontal manner. So this is fully about ICSE, how we can set ICSE settings and then how we can create examinations, enter the IA and EA scores and at the end view the reports. Be tuned in for more videos. Thanks a lot.